What did you see that you liked? What did you see that concerns you, though, in uh, in week one? Well, we we'll go right back to one thing that well, I'll go with the I'll go with the the good stuff. The fact that I like the secondary. The secondary to me, um, when you take a look at what the secondary can do, um, I, I like I like the way DeAnthony Bell played. The guy, he's a 25 year old rookie, but he's coming in with some fire and passion. Tackle for loss. Isaiah Thomas on the outside, defensive end. Two sacks. Um, one of the sacks was kind of a gimme, but I like to see guys, young guys, get in there and, 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 and to work different things. I like his hands. I like his footwork. He seems to be a guy that's up on the move. Um, I, in general, I like what uh, Jordan Elliott did. I thought Jordan Elliott got in there and got a sack. Um, I was encouraged to see what the defensive line can do, given the fact that you don't have Miles Garrett on one side or just Damian Clowney. I like that. And then I love the fact I think the standout performers – um, it was your secondary. When you take a look at what A.J. Green was able to come up and do, nice run support, um, really long corner. He's out there really athletic. I thought he did a nice job uh, of covering it and doing some things. And then uh, Emerson. Emerson, to me, was one of the guys who on defense really showed up and showed out. Had an opportunity. They threw the ball over there and was testing him. And, and I don't know how many times as Brown fans, we didn't already seen this before. Uh, how many times have we thrown – seeing guys catch the rock and it'd it be nobody around them and you're like you got a defensive back <laughs> trailing 10 feet behind and you're like listen he would have got that if it was two hand tap below the waist we still ain't touched him oh he just went down just now okay here we go uh but he got an opportunity he's out there and for him to jump that route for him to be in position contest the position take the ball and then be athletic enough to move and have that wherewithal to say no i'm just not content with the interception and, and, and slapping high fives I want to get to the near sideline, and I want to get me a touchdown. And that's the mentality that the Cleveland Browns are going to have to have on defense if they want to they want to be a playoff team this year without Deshaun Watson. And then I would say, uh, obviously, Jerome Ford, we've mentioned a whole lot of times on this team. This is the reason uh, all of a sudden Kareem Hunt, um, he got the picture and was like, yeah, let me go ahead and um, that hold in, hold out thing. Mm, uh, there's a young guy named Jerome Ford who can do a lot of stuff. Let me go ahead and get back out and on out there because we saw what he can do. I expect him to be getting carries this year. Uh, if anything falters, and on the other side of the football, when we call, talk about the bad side, uh, Anthony Schwartz. Oh my goodness, yeah. uh, I I don't know. Yeah. I, I I'm kind of yeah. those. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I, when them slants come. Slant routes, anything, or if it's not a re reverse or end around, I am not confident in Anthony Schwartz pulling that ball down. And I'm just be honest with you. Yeah, no, he, he, he's got to get better. Ten has got to get better if the Browns are gonna are gonna be using him the way they want to.